Guys, Quinn the Eskimo Fair Ride. I'm on a uh, French and Indian War battlefield right near Lake George, Fort William Henry. It's gonna set up all kinds of stuff out here, but uh, situation, I, I couldn't. Um, but uh, there's some kind of fence here. I don't know what's going on. I see some nice sap right here. I'll have to save that. But there's uh, all around there. There's there's pine cones all over the place. So I might gather some of those. There's some woods there. But uh, I really can't light fires here because it's uh, it's not safe to do that. But Fort William Henry area, where the battlefield was, uh, right on the side of it here. Let's see what it says. Yeah. Not real soft, well, a little bit. I can get some of that, retrieve some of that. But uh, that's what we're doing here, man. So. Yeah, it's about 90 degrees, there's bugs. I might just light a little fire down there, but you know, I, I was gonna set up my whole pack, but we have one car and I, I just can't take off and do my own thing here, so. To get used to that, so. But uh, we're having a good time. Up here in the Adirondacks. But uh, let me light a little fire <clears throat> and uh, like to make a cup of tea or coffee, but it's just, it's just too hot. So we had some cheese and stuff. But uh, pretty cool, very historic around here. So check out some of this stuff here. There's the good stuff right there. Whoops. I take some of this back. As you can see, there's there are literally pine cones all over the place there. I'll collect a few and uh, it'll be fine. We don't want to keep the fire going all the time. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, I just picked up a Coughlin's fire steel. Took some of the black off. Reason being, this is going to fit in one of my new knives to case. So we'll see how it goes. And this is just a, we're on a picnic here. This is just a Fury Gusto grip has a nice 90 degree spine on it. Sure. And I'm going to use that for this. I'll light some uh, pine sap, maybe a little birch bark there. We'll get this going. Sure. Let's try this one here. There we go. We got it going pretty good there now. Then we're going to get this going. There we go. I keep some of the bugs away. But it's just a... Oh, clock one's uh, starter. I have mostly Nathan uh, 4071s. <clears throat> but this one's going to fit in my knife case. My new knife case. <clears throat> and a little... Fury knife here. Let's 
So I'll get this going, we'll keep the bugs away. So yeah, we got the fire going real here. good now, so. Mainly keep the bugs away, right. although it's not smoking too much. But, uh, yeah, we tried out the Calkins fire steel. Did work with the Fury knife. It's fine. We'll see what happens. So I'll get back to you. My Stanley boil and brew here. Burn a lot of pine cones, some branches. Got my tea in there. It's like 90 degrees. It's hot as hell. Let this get rid of some of the bugs and stuff. But, uh, yeah, just testing out a, a, a ferro rod or fury knife. <clears throat> we know this works. I have a teapot also in my vehicle. But uh, we're just out here, uh, and I can't light a fire out there. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Things are very dry. So, we're at a battlefield park. That's what we're doing. And then I'll have some uh, zucchini bread. So, you take care. It's plenty of small fair ride. Okay, guys. Uh, on Instagram, I posted a uh, video of making a fire fired up Friday and what I did is I said I would uh, I wanted this Coughlin's ferro rod so it'll fit this knife here and it does which is good the original one that came with it is this one so it's you know it's kind of small it works though but Coughlin's one had a little more meat to it so I just happened to be up there up north in Bolton Landing and <clears throat> tried that out and this works good but it fits in here very nice snug good and this particular knife is you know it's nothing fancy it's just an Elk Ridge knife very sharp and uh, I'm making a spoon right now and uh, a lot of knives, when I get them, I, uh, it has a good 90 degree spine on it. I check rope like this that it just cuts it, and this does. I'll do a review on the knife at some point, but this is my initial impression. Feels nice, like the color, the whole bit. So, it's fine. But, um, cut this ferro rod for this. And that's what we're doing here. But I'm gonna every almost every knife I get, or within reason, I try it out on my spoons and bushcraft stuff like that. So I'm gonna do this one now. I'm working on a spoon. So let me get back to you. And uh, I, but that'll be for another video. But I just wanted to show you. But yes, this Coughlin's ferro rod, which actually works pretty good. Um, fits in here nicely and it's much more beefier than this one but I will save this and put it with uh, one of my other bags and I have a lot of Nathan 4071 rods but I have to put things on them some handles on them so but uh, so there you go so this is part of the uh, video look at that that's pretty good man stuff going on down there so it's nice to put this back